don't know. You're talking about being an orthodontist. Yes. Like, really? I really did. So, Even now, I, if I could do the... Okay, why I stopped, yeah. right? Okay, where was, did you start, first of all? <laughs> okay, I had braces. So uh-huh. I had an orthodontist. So I yeah. wanted to be an orthodontist because of my orthodontist. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And I just really enjoyed the process, like learning all the things. Okay. Um, and I was like, you know, I really want to do so this. So you actually went into learning about it. Yeah, I had I had there. internships. Okay. I worked there for like okay. more than a year. Wow. I think close to two years. At 16? Uh, yeah. Oh. When I, so when I first started, I had like an internship. Right. I think I was 15 then. Yeah. I had an internship just for like a week, just mm-hmm. seeing everything. And then the following year, when I was turning 17... I then actually went to work there and mm. I started doing their in-house like social media management and stuff. Oh, okay. So because I was interested in I was a patient before, yeah. it was easy for me also being in social media and knowing certain things right, right. to give the, the theory and all the yeah. technical stuff of braces yeah. and then translate it into like simple language mm-hmm. and then give it to people because yeah. I was like a middle person between doc who's doctor and yes. patient who's like... <laughs> um, <Clueless>. what <laughs> exactly so that's that's what i did and i really mm. really enjoyed it mm. okay so Loved where did it. you stop oh it's like 13 years of school that's mm. not that's not where it ends right yeah my thing is i like orthodontics but when you tell yeah. someone orthodontist they're like oh a dentist and i'm yeah, like, like no, no it's not the same like if it was the same it yeah. would be called a dentist, a dentist. <laughs> surprise <laughs> So all the dentists um, in short or rather simplified are just braces where they deal with alignment of your jaws and teeth. Mm. And then dentists do more of like cleaning your teeth, Mm. extracting your teeth, um, that kind of stuff. So to do to be an orthodontist, you have to become a dentist first and then you specialize. Uh So I um, went to um, intern at the orthodontist. My yeah. orthodontist was like, you know what? You should actually intern with a dentist because you have to do that first anyways. Mm-hmm. And if you study like in the States, you have to do four years pre-med, four years dental. Then you work as a dentist for like two years as like attachment or whatever. Oh. Then you specialize for like two and a half years. Yeah. yeah. So it's like, you know, just go and intern. So I went, mm-hmm. I entered as a dentist as well. And um, it's absolutely insane. I love, I mean, it was great. I got to see also like periodontal work which is like gum work oh right and but i it was not for me yeah like people don't like going to see the dentist Mm -hmm. like you're never like yes i must go like the dentist you leave and they're like you know every six months you must be here you Mm. will not be there (laughs) like until you have an issue in your mouth you're like i have to go see this dude or this lady and then it's just it's just tough and then you have to put people in pain. This one time we went to theater and this person, our patient was so uncomfortable. Mm. I was so ready to be like, it's okay. <laughs> Let's not. <laughs> like, we don't have to do this, yeah. you know? Yeah. And I was just like, no, you can't do that. As a yeah. dentist, you can't do that. It must right. be done. And mm. so I just felt like I was just too empathetic. And yeah. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't working. So that's yeah. why I stopped because that's like, 10 years out of the 12 to 13. Yeah. Um, and even if you do it in any, like the, the UK Australian system, mm-hmm. you still do seven years for dentistry. I think if you do it in Zim, you do four years for dentistry, but you just have to go out to specialize. Okay. So yeah. it was just, it was a lot of years, you know, someone mm. will have a whole other degree oh, yeah, in that time. In that time. And I just thought, mm. mm-mm. Okay. Yeah. So it was like a journey. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Talk to me about how you transitioned from doing social media work into radio. Yeah, from medicine to media, so I well, like to call it. Because I'd also like assist because it was an actual internship. So okay, I was doubling up. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but so afterwards, when I was like, I don't want to do dentistry, mm. orthodontics, whatever. Yeah. I really just didn't know what I wanted to do. Yeah. Then I was like, you know what? Let me just go to school and study like business or like accounting because uh-huh. you always need that stuff. You know, uh, yeah, like <laughs> even you do, yeah. if you have your own business, oh, someone, yeah, has you that, someone has to do that. Someone has to, you know, so it'll be helpful. Mm-hmm. So I was just telling my parents, I was like, I just didn't want to be at home anymore yeah. uh, because I was homeschooled and stuff. My school was done by the right. time I was 16. Yeah. So I had done my A levels. Right. And I should have been going to school. And I'd done school for medicine, but not, I didn't like do like exceedingly well. Mm-hmm. And med school so expensive. So now it was just like tricky as to like how we were going to go about it. So I just told my parents, I was like, I have no idea. And then I decided to actually fast and pray and be like, God, 
please. <laughs> I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I don't know what I'm called to do. I just like to be shown or I don't know. Yeah. And so I did. And afterwards, I was like, I didn't like hear like some kind of booming voice or whatever. But I was like, I told my mom, I was like, you know, I think I should be in media. Mm. Um, and I kept seeing like media and communications, which is actually, uh, I think it's like a degree, but a postgrad degree. Right. So I was telling her afterwards and she was like, you know, I actually think I was thinking about that. And I think you'd do so well because you already mm. do social media and stuff yes. and you like, kind of fit in and all that. So you started looking into it, but media and com- communications falls under journalism. Mm-hmm. I don't like reading. I don't like all <laughs> that. And I was like, no, <laughs> like mm, this is not, this is not for me, yeah. you know? Yeah. And then um, I tried looking around. I then was like, okay, hey, communications, which I was going to study uh, communications. But then it was like focusing on marketing communications or something like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, that didn't work out. And then I ended up studying, well, I'm going to study strategic brand communication now, which right. I think is more in line with all that I want to do yeah. after many other internships and all that. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Okay. So is that how you got into radio? Oh, I didn't even answer your question. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're so kind. <laughs> You're so kind. <laughs> I bumped into an ad. Like after the time I was fasting, yeah, I I actually don't even remember where I saw it or someone forwarded to, to forwarded it to me or I don't know. Yeah, but I just saw it and I was like, okay, let me go. And then I went. Um, I was pretty nervous. Mm-hmm. Like at first I was like fine, and then when it was now time to like go inside, I was like so nervous. And then afterwards, I was like, no, it's fine. Like, it's good, you know. And then afterwards, they were, like, recording certain people that had come out. And I was like, you know, look at me. I made it. Whatever. I definitely mm-hmm. did good. What? What? Being this confident person. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I was like, you're trying to jinx yourself. <laughs> like, what are you doing? Um, yeah. So I did the radio presenter masterclass. They were announcing the, the people that had made it. Mm-hmm. I think it was a couple of days later yeah. on Facebook Live or whatever. And they come on, they're like, we had these auditions and this and that. And then they're all like studying the names and they're like, okay, first person, Joanna Munengwa. I was like, oh, the first person. Eh? Yeah. Right. So I was like, so happy. Um, and it was like, okay, wow, you know, this is radio. I'd never, it's not like some people are like, you know, ever since I was a child, I've been yes. listening to radio and that's all I've ever wanted to be. Mm-hmm. It was just something that I really stumbled across. But I was like, you know what? I'm doing this. I'm going to give it my all. And I'd actually love to do something like this. Yeah. Um, so I then did the course. It was six like to eight months because we had attachment and we also had a tour in South Africa for mm-hmm. South African radio stations. Um, we also covered like the theory of radio in Zimbabwe mm-hmm. and our like coursework was designed by the Media Connection, which is in South Africa. Mm-hmm. So yeah, we finished, graduated and I was actually taken up by ZFM Stereo, which is great. I was yeah. really happy because I mean, going through it, like, yeah, you know, stations can pick if they right. want. Right. <laughs> and uh, with me also yeah. wanting to go to school mm-hmm. afterwards because I haven't been, I haven't done any tertiary education. Right. Was very... Um, like now it's kind of like, I don't know, like, should mm-hmm. I stay and then do online school because of these opportunities or should I go and then, you know, leave radio? Mm-hmm. So it was really hard uh, for me in the beginning uh, because I was like, hopefully they will take me up. I mean, there were people showing interest because you then actually work with them and you're attached to the different yeah. people and they show you and teach you and stuff. Yeah. And then I went on an internship in South Africa. Well, you know, what? I've answered the radio question. I took no, too c- much. Continue, Should continue. I? No, 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 continue, yeah. Internship in SA. Yeah, yeah. I went for an internship. Was that in... during the radio presenter master class? Yeah, so uh-huh. after our South African tour, I just stayed over. Oh. Um, and then I did an internship mm-hmm. at a communications firm right. uh, called Maropa. So they do communications and PR. Mm-hmm. Um, and it was just so interesting to see how like things work. Because obviously in Zim... I don't think a lot of people actually do PR or like proper PR. Like mm-hmm. you'll have someone who kind of manages something for you or like, you know, does like separate like parts of PR, but you'll never have like a firm that does things and knows PR in and out. Yeah. yeah. So it was really cool to work with. I got to work as well with the medical uh, department there and having done orthodontics as well. It also then all like nice. helps and links. Yeah. Um, they have a, a like a public office department. They have... Um, their design, which is where I used, I was there like for the longest and the most, because I think that's where I have most of my passions and I'm able to like 
work on the stuff that I knew as well already. Yeah. Yeah. So I did that for like two months. It was like eight weeks. Mm -hmm. And then I came back home and um, I was like, I should not uh, stay home and (laughs) (laughs) and do radio and do online school because I felt like I saw so much in the space of two weeks on an internship. Imagine Mm -hmm. I actually had a degree, I was actually working, what I could do and what I could, um, the things I could learn and all that being there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I then decided after that internship that no, I don't think that I should be staying, you know, I love our country. Um, I do. (laughs) Zoom will always be my home. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. So knowing that you're going to go back to SA, why did you take upon the job at ZFM? Um, it was offered to me yeah. and I was like, I would love to take it on for four months. And I did let them know that, you know, I, I have decided that I will be going to school yeah. and my degree is this long and yeah. I doubt I'll be coming home that often. Yeah. And it was also up to them to decide to take me on. And mm-hmm. I'm happy that they did because yeah. I still wanted it because I feel like that time it was uh, three months ish. Mm -hmm. which is a lot of time to learn things, to create an audience, to get to know people. Because, I mean, I had a show every week, sometimes more than one show in a week. And it's still just helping me in terms of speaking. Because Mm -hmm. beyond radio, I actually want to do TV. That's something that I actually have a passion for. So being able to speak to people, having to produce your own show, to make your own playlist. If I wasn't working there, I wouldn't feel any pressure to do it. I wouldn't be obligated to do any of that stuff. So it's a lot of stuff that I'm now able to say, look, I did this. And I've learned so much in Mm. those. I mean, each week is one show. There's like four four shows in a month. Mm -hmm. It's like 12 shows plus that I've had to produce, um, you know, sometimes send it through my boss and have them help me and guide me. So it's invaluable Mm. experience that I would have lost having not taken the job. Mm. But at the same time, you're still working at a production house. Yes. How? Why would you make a decision like that? I mean, I I really I think I've, I'm an internship person. I think that's what I've learned. Yeah. I think being able to see things hands on and being able right. to work in different environments is right. is great. And on all the internships I've been on, I've mm-hmm. just worked with so many great people. Like I've never had a bad or horrible boss or oh, you're horrible quite work. I know. And I'm just like, thank you, God. Mm. <laughs> Please continue. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Please. Yeah, yeah. 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 So I was just like, you know, I really like to do something and learn more. And I felt like the production house, C Media, that I was working at, also mm-hmm. did uh, different things from the other stuff that I had kind of been learning and seeing yeah. and doing from before. Yeah. So I felt like it would be good to see, especially also wanting to go into TV. Yeah. I think yeah. it's also good to understand behind the scenes right. and what happens behind. Because when you're in front, then you're just like, why am I going to do this? Mm-hmm. Why must mm-hmm. I be like mm-hmm. saying like yeah. this? Why, you know? So when you've had yeah. to record people, when you've had to be a part of productions and all that stuff, you mm-hmm. understand why other people are doing what they're doing and then also what will be expected of me when i am then right yeah so that was um one of the reasons okay Mm. it's pretty dope 